Hi everyone, Allison here for Black Cat Scraps. Wait, before we start, I need to share with you what's new in the Etsy shop. Barbie shoe earrings. These are black label collectors. Sterling silver and it comes with a little bling. Aren't they cute? If you love Barbie's shoes or if you have little girls who love Barbies and shoes and you're a mom, you totally need these earrings. How cool will you be if you're wearing these? I know I am. My daughter loves my earrings. Welcome to another t-shirt reconstruction video. This one is the fancy twist front. So this shirt that I'm using is from Banana Republic. It's a stretchy extra small. And you're gonna wanna mark where you want your bust line to be. So I've, pin I've tried the shirt on and I've pinned where I want it. And I'm using the shirt to actually create a straight line and I couldn't find any crayon or um, marking tools so I'm actually using eyeshadow and I kind of spilled some Oops. now you want to cut away the side seams go ahead and cut um, the actual seamed part out we don't need that anymore and cut only up to the um, bust line mark and do this on both sides of the shirt. Next you want to fold the shirt in half um, to find the center of the shirt front. And you can do this by lining up the side seams at the bottom and up in the shoulder area. And then cut on the center line on the fold. Just like this. Now since my shirt has a little decorative neckline, I'm only cutting up to that part, but you can cut all the way up if you wish. For the bust line, you're going to want to cut along the line we made, and you want to stop two to three inches from the end of that center fold that we cut. Now make sure you're not cutting uh, anything that shouldn't be cut, and if you've got it folded just like I have, um, just to make sure, check the other side to make sure you're cutting along that line as well. If you measured everything right, you should be. Alright, and now lay your shirt out flat, facing up, and we're ready to do the twist. So you're going to want to take either or, left or right, and one's going to go over and the other one's going to go under and they're going to end up being back in the same place they were before just slipped inside of each other so if you want to see that one more time I've marked the left side with a safety pin going horizontal the right side with a safety pin going vertical so best way to do it is um, to take one of the sides and put it up, bring the other side over, bring the top side back down, and then bring the second one right back on top of it, just like that. So now you can see that the safety pins are in the same position as they were before, we've just wrapped the fabric around each other, just once like a full twist. Alright, so now you're going to want to sew on these lines and then lace up the sides. It would be easiest to have these pre-marked so I have the two edges of the side lined up together so I'm just marking both at the same time. And I'm using a needle with a really large eye because I want to use ribbon and I'm using a eighth inch ribbon this is black ribbon and to best thread it cut it at an angle and then slip that through your needle if you have a needle for like leather that would probably work out the best and there's two different ways that you can lace this for what I've done 
You can lace it just like tennis shoes where um, you have two strings and they cross over and then attach and they constantly do that. This way I'm actually taking the ribbon and just um, wrapping it around the edge of the fabric all the way up just on the one side. and I'm spacing my entry holes about a half an inch apart to a quarter of an inch. For the attaching the other half, I'm going to thread another section of ribbon and I'm going to safety pin the end down because I'm not ready to attach it to the other half. Do that later. And I'm just going to loop my ribbon through all the ribbon loops on the other side of the fabric. So this actually is a lot easier to understand if you watch as opposed to me trying to describe it, so I'll be quiet. <laughs> I am being consistent though on the way the ribbon comes out of the fabric so I'm coming from underneath or the inside out and going outward. And however you want to lace up the sides is completely optional and up to you. You don't have to use ribbon, you can actually use fabric if you wanted to or leather, even a shoelace if that's all you have. And here I'm just um, adjusting the ribbon and then I'm going to tie a bow at the end of this. I'm just going to do a double knot and if you want more security you can probably put a couple stitches with a needle and thread. You don't need much. Alright, so for the rest of the shirt you're going to want to turn it inside out and I'm going to start with the abdomen seam first. So put right sides together and do whatever stitch you feel comfortable with. If you have a sewing machine this would probably work best. Um, I chose to do a back stitch. Make sure that you do them um, tight and close together. And if you want to learn how to do the back stitch, um, I may have a video in the future. But for now, you can go over to Whitney Sew's YouTube channel, and she has a video on how to do the back stitch. It will there will be a link in the down bar as well. And for the bust seam as well, just put right sides together, keep the shirt inside out, and. Start with the side seams going towards the center of the shirt. Once you get towards the center, you're going to want to pull that grouping of fabric that is wrapped around that section of shirt and just keep shoving it over so you can sew as close to it as you can. So you make that um, hole as small as possible. That way when you wear your shirt and it stretches out, you don't have a very large opening seam where people can see through your shirt. And you can sew the top if you like. I'm going to leave mine open. And I chose to sew the front sections because the shirt is fancy you can always um, lace those if you wish. And you can have the lacing tight or you can have it loose depending on the style of shirt or the style that you want. So enjoy this little photo shoot I had done. I woke up this morning on the wrong side of the bed I should have stayed in bed and slept all day so I do want to thank everyone for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, share, and favorite. And if you do really want to see more reconstruction videos, please make sure that you do subscribe and I will take it as a hint and make more and more, as many as I can. <laughs> please be sure to check out these links in the down bar and music by Josh Woodward.
wait, before we start the tutorial, I need to share with you what's new in the Etsy shop. Hang on, it's tangled. <laughs> Barbies and shoes, and you're a mom, you totally need these earrings. Well, Dad, I'm sure. I'm sure it just at home it'd be okay. <laughs> Dad, why are you watching this video? Go away. 